My name is Mama D, uh, and I'm of community-centred knowledge, and welcome to the food journey. So this is a multi-sensory journey into the story of commonplace foods, or otherwise known as things that we take in, which nourish us. So we will be moving in amongst you, we will be offering you things to taste, to smell, to feel the texture of, and to eat. One of the purposes of community-centred knowledge is to bring out community narratives um, through a variety of forms, including drama, immersive theatre, and the food journey is one such immersive theatre. We have brought it together because we feel as a community there are so many contradictions around food, such a, a sensual subject, and yet it's spoken about with such distance. So what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Did you rush out with a cup of coffee? Or just say, well, I'll get one when I get there? What was it that you ate when you were say five years old. Let's take ourselves right to the beginning of a cooling earth. And all that we can feel is the vibrating, pulsing warmth of the earth. And you're looking out to a purple, red and green so sky. Within the food journey, people um, experience the taste, the smell, the touch, and the odour of a variety of different foods. And in making this journey, people are able to discover, rediscover the detail of what it entailed. with it, we'll really think about the elements of the journey, all the way from the short narrative about a man beating a dog, all the way through to <laughs> literally um, the bitter end in the Caribbean um, and in the supermarkets of the West. So I, I really would encourage as many people as possible, I'd encourage you to come and experience it. Tomorrow, lest we disappoint thee, our joy How far can we go without a healing? We all need a healing. I thought it's really important because it shows the way that history can be experienced through sound and taste and smell and I thought that was very interesting. I thought that the play was really incredible. I thought that it helped me to understand a bit about um, the larger global food journey that we're all a part of. It was quite emotional. It was a good opportunity to allow myself to connect with history.